a lot of people ask me, Suzelle, make us a video on how to make masks for coronavirus. 800 emails. Then the government found and I said, hi Cyril. Jokes, it wasn't Cyril, it was Alan Winnie, he's the Premier of the Western Cape. He said, this is going to become our next bucket in the shower. Now we're going to have masks in our Ziploc bags in our cars. I love that, Alan. I love what you've done there because people will relate to that. We all know about the bucket in the shower. Some of us still have it. And I like the idea of keeping it in a Ziploc. Whose idea was that? Was that yours, Alan? I knew it. <laughs> Basically, we've got to get people to know that when the mask is on, yeah. every other rule that you've learnt in the last two weeks is oh. still essential. Okay. First things first, people. A mask is not an excuse to disregard any of the other rules. Wash your hands. 20 seconds, people. Soap, water, or hand sanitizer. Look how I'm getting in the crooks and crannies. Second to that, do not touch your face. And every time you hear... Feel your hands going up to your face. Listen to me. You're going to hear my voice saying, No! Stop it! Stop it! Da Stop it. Especially when you are wearing the mask, guys. Don't, still don't touch it. That's why it's important that the masks that we make fit nicely and snugly and that they're comfortable. Because the minute you're touching that mask, all our hard work's gone out the window. So the other important things, guys, social distancing. One and a half meters, please. Look at this, I call this helicopter arms. I do this everywhere I go. And I don't care if people think I'm crazy. It's one and a half meters, well, just about. I mean, first and foremost, stay at home, guys. Don't go gallivanting. We're doing this for each other. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make three different kinds of masks. Let's make a DIY no sew bandana mask. We take our bandana, fold it in half, and we're gonna add our extra layer, fold it up. This stage, I'm just gonna give it an iron. Pop on our little elastic loopies. Fold that in, open this up, tuck it in. Give it an iron. Hello. Important things to remember about masks, they need to be at least three layers of fabric. The fabric must be very tightly woven. Denim is a very good fabric to make a mask out of. Sorry, Marianne, I've cut the legs of your jeans. I'm gonna take the leg of my jean, put the seam in the middle, then flip it inside like this. Then you tuck in the other side. I'm absolutely dying doing this. Little known fact, I can't touch jeans fabric. A jeans, a pool denim. Ah, get away from me. Okay, breathe, Suzelle. This is for your country. Make it nice and regular in shape. This is a little piece of flannelly cotton. I'm going to pop it inside. In you go, my darling. Make it nice and flat. And then finally, I've got these shoelaces. One side. Okay. So, guys, you can either just wear it like this, but I'm going to sew mine. There, 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 there. Breathe it. Being great anatomy. You will need a nice thick weave cotton, two pieces of elastic, another piece of cotton to slot inside. We're gonna start by folding this in half, right sides together, people. Fold this one in and that one in, like this. I'm gonna give it an iron. Now we're gonna create some pleats over and back. Give it a press. Then again, over and back. Next part, you open it up completely. And then we recreate the pleats like that on that side. Right, so we're gonna make one little loopy with our elastic. We're gonna line it up with the edge. And we fold it back in and we pin it all together. Pinned at the bottom. Then we're gonna do the same on this side. Make a little loopy and then we pin this last guy. There's it. Don't say to how your nails are looking so whack, guys. It's jellish and I've been in a lockdown and I don't mess around as taking off jellish on my own. I know that I'm a DIY queen, but I'm not a manicurist queen. Okay guys, you need to sew here and here. You can hand stitch it like this, or you just zuck it on the sewing machine. Easy does it. I sew over pins, guys, and then I always back stitch over the elastic especially, just to make it a little bit stronger. It's important that the one side of pleats and the other side of pleats aren't pleated together. They must be separate. Okay, then the other side, forward stitch, back stitch, forward stitch all the way, remove the pins, trim your edges and your threads, and 
turn it the right way round. Push out the corners. It opens up like so. Take your extra layer and you're going to place it inside. Just give it a final iron. This can either be a slip-in layer or if you're a little bit more of an advanced sewer, you can pre-sew it into your pleats before you turn it inside out. There's it. Now for an extra layer of protection. Cut off the bottom from it and at the top. Then you cut down the middle for my own flourish. Fold it over. This is just to eliminate any sharp edges. There's it. Ta-da! Rules of wearing the mask. Do not touch your face. Absolutely not. Don't fiddle with the mask. When taking off the mask, first wash your hands. When removing it, remove it by the straps. There's it. Either wash it immediately or pop it in a container before you wash it. Wash your hands. Have two masks, so you always have a clean one ready. Do not share your mask. Wash the mask with soap and water. Let the mask dry fully, in the sun preferably, and iron it when it's all done to disinfect it completely. DIY, because anybody can make a cloth face mask. And adhere to the correct ways of wearing it. Stay home, keep safe, and I'm gonna see you soon. This video is brought to you by the Western Cape Government, who have developed policy guidelines working with leading independent scientists in South Africa to provide clear advice on the appropriate and safe usage of cloth masks.